Good morning, everyone. While we're waiting for others to get in and get settled, now's a good time to grab anything you need to get comfortable. Maybe that's a glass of water or a hot cup of tea or coffee. Maybe it's a blankie or a cozy sweater on this chilly fall day. Also, if you have items at home and you'd like to smudge with me, it's a good time to grab those items as we begin to ignite the healing within. Welcome everyone. It's our chance to start fresh today. It's a new week. A new sunrise. A different moon phase. Let's set our intentions for the day and reflect on what it is we need, what it is we want, and how we're going to move forward on our self-care and wellness journey. It's voting day today, everyone, in case you didn't know. <laughs> How could you not know with all the phone calls? My goodness. Kakahiaka, hello and good morning. My name is Malia and I'm a community healer at the Her Wellness Institute. We are a nonprofit organization that focuses on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. where we will always breathe, stretch, explore ways of integrating self-care and wellness into our daily lives. And we will always honor our cultural traditions, our customs, our ancestry, our strength and our resilience. So thank you so much relatives for being here with us today and joining us. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our Her Wellness team member that is here with us. We have one of our um, our interns with us, Mariah, she is a social work intern and also an outstanding human being. How are you doing today, Mariah? Good to see you. When you see the Her Wellness Institute commenting, that is Mariah. And like myself, we are both here, Mariah and I, to help you um, as you're reflecting. If you ever need someone to talk to, feel free to inbox the Her Wellness Institute. Um, we're here for your relatives. We each have our own unique gifts and talents, and we are passionate about being with you, about supporting you in what our founder and CEO, Leah Denny, has coined and developed as community-activated medicine. And community-activated medicine means that the people are the medicine. And right here, right now, we are in a collective, a circle of healing in which those of us who are feeling strong today and able to move forward can be a, a solid rock in support for those of us who need some support and need someone to lean into. And if community activated medicine means that the people are the medicine, it also means that we have the ability within our own hearts, our own minds, our own bodies and our own spirits to do our part of our own healing. That is community activated medicine. We are the medicine. And the beauty of our wellness journey, the beauty of our self care journey, which is synchronous with our path and journey of life is that there are infinite and unlimited ways for us to choose um, moments of love for ourselves, moments of compassion and forgiveness for ourselves, moments of health. There's so much that we can do and we can explore these in moments like this. And not only are we exploring our self-care and wellness options as we walk forward on this path, but we're also honoring who you are because in case you forgot, or in case you need a reminder, you are absolutely amazing. 
And I know this for a fact, relatives, that you are amazing. And how do I know this? Why do I know this? Well, for starters, there's over 7 billion people on this planet, and you are the most unique individual. 7 billion of us were like snowflakes in a good way. The Creator makes not a single one of them identical. The Creator has given you gifts and talents. You are very special. So that's just one reason of many. Here's another reason why I know that you're an outstanding human being and individual, aside from your uniqueness and aside from the gifts that the Creator gave you. It's because you, right now, your spirit, your heart, your living, breathing body, is a testament to the strength and resilience of every single one of your ancestors that came before you. For our indigenous and turtle island relatives, we have overcome so much, so much adversity. Our people have experienced lots of pain, lots of loss and lots of trauma. And despite all of that, here we are sitting in a moment of strength, sitting in moments of breathing, sitting in moments of physicality because of the resilience of every one of our ancestors who came before us and to all of our relatives of every color of the rainbow you too are are a testament a living breathing testament of the strength of those who came before you so let's take some time today to honor that to honor who you are because you're truly amazing I want to start with a check-in and ask everyone how they're doing today. Tabitha, good morning. So wonderful to see you, Tabitha. Now, relatives, I know there's lots of visitors when we do these um, r, &R posts. If I don't call your name, it's only because I have no idea why. I don't see all, everyone's names, but um, do feel free to comment. Um, Tabitha, Mariah, and everyone out there, how are you doing today? Let's do a check-in. Take a moment. Maybe see if you're feeling any pain or discomfort in your body. How's your energy level? Are there any feelings that are laying heavy in your heart? Or thoughts that may be heavy in your mind? Maybe you're feeling great. I hope you are. So I'll give you a moment to reflect on that. Now, I encourage you relatives, comment in the comment section whether you're new or to these videos today or you've been here since the beginning of these videos since the pandemic started in March you are welcome to comment here we're so happy you were here that you are here with us Tabitha says I'm doing good today thank you wonderful to hear Tabitha and while everyone takes a moment as to where they're at I'm gonna go ahead and pour my tea I'll talk about it in a minute It's part of my medicine and my daily ritual. I got my tea strainer. This is a holy basil tea. This truly is a medicinal tea. Tabitha says she's new here. That's awesome, Tabitha. So glad that you're here. We got a lot of cool things that we do every time we meet in these videos. One of them is we do a check-in. So relatives out there, before I get into my tea, 
and talk about our tea. I want to talk to our relatives out there. I hope you're doing okay today. Tabitha, I'm so happy to hear that you're doing well. Mariah, I'm glad you're good today too. But for those of our relatives out there who aren't doing okay, I will remind us every single time that we meet, it is okay not to be okay. May not be where we want to be at the moment, but we won't be there always. And particularly in times like this, we might be having a bad day, bad week, month, or in 2020, you might just be having a bad year. But we're going to get through this together, relatives. And I do want to say that it is okay not to be okay, but if you're not doing all right, do reach out to someone that you can talk to that you trust. Maybe it's a friend or a family member. Maybe it's a coworker. And you can also call our CARES Warm Line. It's open every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can call or text. And within 24 hours, you'll be connected to one of our CARES Warm counselors, who, by the way, Mariah and I and all of our team know personally. Our CARES counselors are passionate about walking alongside you on your journey of self-care, wellness, and mental health. You can talk to them about what's on your mind. Maybe you're feeling sad or angry or anxious. Maybe you don't even know what you're feeling, but you know that you need to talk it out because you're feeling some sort of way and you're just not feeling, you're just not feeling okay. Not only can our CARES counselors listen to you with respect and dignity, they can provide you with emotional support and also resources that may be helpful to you. Relatives, there's a lot of resources out there right now for our wellness and for our mental health. And it, it shows me this. It's that we are in a society that is destigmatizing mental health. We are understanding as we evolve as people, as people who are interconnected, who are globally connected, that mental health isn't something... I mean, I remember growing up, um, and even my parents and my grandparents would always say this, that mental health was something for crazy people. Or, you know, if there was, if you had a, needed to see a counselor, there was something wrong with you or whatever these, these, um, these feelings were. And the fact of the matter is that is completely untrue. The fact is, is that all of us need to practice self-care, wellness, and we need mental health support. Why? Because the world is tough. Because we're in a time right now where unity is a challenge, where division has become the norm, where many of us are staying at home now. It's okay to need help, we all do. I do. I even have a, even considering my title, even considering my, my role at work and Mariah does too. And every single one of us out there need mental health and support. So relatives do not be ashamed. Do not be shy. There's no stigma. There's no judgment. That's community activated medicine. When you need to lean into somebody, there's others that are there waiting to embrace you, waiting to be there as a support for you. One of the, my favorite parts of mental health and wellness routines, I should say wellness and self-care routines, is holy basil tea. You can kind of see the little seeds and little parts of the herbs sticking to the cup here, and that's okay. Holy basil is an outstanding tea. I'm drinking it today because I am going to be voting in person. And this is um, an antimicrobial, antiviral um, this is an analgesic, so it actually helps easing with pain or discomfort in the body. Um, it helps regulate blood sugar. It is holy basil relatives. Look it up. Check it out. This is an outstanding tea. Um, our occupational therapist, Claudia, drinks it every day. Like that's, This is her number one tea. Um, I love this tea as well. It's also herbal, so there is no caffeine. Um, it's just an outstanding outright fantastic tea the other thing i like about holy basil tea 
is that it's affordable. Um, some teas get quite pricey per ounce. Um, I will say that my favorite teas of all time, and I've drinking, I'm a, I'm a tea, I'm a tea ophile. I like teas. I drink teas all the time. I'm passionate about my teas. And the Fava Tea Company, F-A-V-A, is the tea company that I trust, that I love. They're a local tea company in Wisconsin, but they ship all over. There's three locations, one in Blue Mound Road and the corner of, um, like, right at the intersection of Brookfield and Waukesha, like right at the end of Brookfield, just before you get into Waukesha. There's one in Greenfield and there's one in Appleton, Wisconsin. outstanding tea one of one of the most medicinal ones well they're all medicinal but i just feel like it has so many powerful qualities to it good morning terrell how are you doing today so relatives we'll do some deep breathing and a quick stretch i know you may have a lot on your mind and a lot on your plate it is election day and no matter where you fall in that be safe out there, relatives, if you are going out to vote. And remember, part of our wellness and self-care is the ability to exercise what it is that we want and we feel that is right in our hearts and minds and in our spirits. So I will not tell you how to, who to vote for. That's counterintuitive to knowing that we ourselves are the masters of our own journey. And that's not to say we don't have boulders or obstacles that come in the way of our choices and paths. But the beauty of it is, and I will always be here to remind you, is that you get to choose. It is your choice. So if you're going out there today, be safe, relatives. Make sure you bring a snack because I hear those lines can be really long. And heck, you might be outside in a couple, for a couple hours in those lines. If you are, make sure you bundle up. You got your scarf, you got your snack, you got anything that you might need, your medications with you. You might even need a chair. <laughs> so bring your folding chair, whatever you need, relatives. Just stay safe out there and make sure that you think about you. And exercise your right to vote. So let's deep breathe. I have my feet flat on the floor and my hands gently in my lap. You can sit, lay, or recline however you like. Clothing, closing your eyes is optional. We're going to breathe through the nose for a count of four. Bringing in that healing energy. Exhaling through the mouth for a count of six. As we release those feelings, thoughts, emotions, or physical discomforts that aren't serving us. Here we go, relatives. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Let's continue to breathe as we roll our shoulders. These are just guidelines, relatives. You can stretch however you like. Listen to your body. Trust it. Know that you know best. Arms out. And bring your arm across. You'll probably yawn there. Rolling the wrist, stretching the shoulder and upper back. Deep inhale. And other side. Take an inhale as we bring that arm out directly in front of us, pushing gently down on the fingertips, stretching the wrist and forearms. If you don't like that, roll your wrist or choose any stretch that you like at any time during these stretches. Deep inhales, we clasp the fingers. Exhales, we push the palms out and up, gently bending from side to center. Oh. Pushing down the opposite elbow, stretching the tricep, other side. Oh, that feels good. Let's finish with the next stretch, looking from side to center. 
Double tapping that ear towards the shoulder. And rolling the chin from shoulder to shoulder, keeping it in the front. And let's finish by looking down gently towards our lap and up towards the ceiling. I feel okay, relatives. I want to ask you today, what are you doing for your wellness and self-care? If you do care to share, let us know. It's great to always get inspiration and ideas and see what other people are doing. Today for my wellness, I am voting. Um, today at the Her Wellness Institute, we do have... Um, once we're finished with our programs, we actually do get to go out and vote, um, so that's great. And um, also, I am going to get a facial today, so I'm very excited. That's what I'm doing for my self-care and wellness. I've had my tea, my deep breathing, and reflecting with you, honoring our resilience. So there's a handful of things I've already done. Took my vitamins and supplements. Also, two relatives. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about COVID because since COVID, I have put on what I call the COVID. I won't even say the amount of weight that I've gained, but I've put on a bunch of weight since COVID. A surprising amount. And so I started, um, because I work so much, I work two full-time jobs. I love them both, but um, I work pretty much every day of the week and I work really long hours. So because of that, I've been finding myself creeping up into the fast food and, you know, places I don't necessarily want to eat, but it's like either do that or don't eat. And then I haven't even had time to go grocery shopping. So last week I made the pledge that I will eat no fast food for a week and I did it. I'm, that's so awesome. And for me, um, considering my work hours, I'm very proud. It did take some time and planning, not too much. I just made sure that I picked up a bunch of fruit and apples and raw veggies and I just carried them around with me um, so that I wasn't always like like really really hungry and felt like I was gonna make bad decisions um, I started cooking meals again and so this week my my um, my goal is to log everything that I'm eating and also to eat more fruits and vegetables and also to move more because um, since COVID, my jobs have changed quite a bit. I used to be have very physical jobs, a lot of physical work, but now I'm doing a lot of sitting in front of the computer. And um, because of that, I think that's a reason, you know, being at home more and working from home means that I'm getting far less activity. And um, when I am rushing to the office or doing other things there too, um, like it's just it, that's when I'll like go and get like um like the food that I don't want to be eating right now so yeah no fast food for a week this week so far so good um I got some groceries yesterday I have my farm produce that came in last week and more coming in this week so I am just feeling really good about that I'm not focusing on weight loss I'm just taking it real slow and this week is all about logging journaling the food that I eat increasing my activity and more fruits and vegetables and cooking from home. So it's been the challenge, but I'm enjoying it. Again, not focusing on my calorie intake or anything like that right now. I'll do that slowly next week. Right now, I just needed to take it one small step at a time. Before we go, I do want to do some positive affirmations, some positive self-talk in the lunar phase that we're in. <clears throat> According to my ancestral teachings, Kiala Oka Mahina, or the path of the moon, is my native Hawaiian ancestral teachings. And um, I only share them with your relatives because I do strongly believe that culture is medicine. I know this for a fact in my life that my culture has always been the solid rock or anchor by which I can um, connect to and get some grounding when I need it. Um, and so I know my culture, but I want to say I share my culture because that's what I know. Relatives, I know you have your own beliefs, your own cultures, your own ancestral teachings, and I encourage you connect to that. Um, you don't have to connect to my culture. If it resonates with you, great. That's what I share it for. But if it doesn't, that's okay. We all have our own ways. 
So always feel free to share your ancestral teachings or perspective or wisdom relatives. The moon that we're in today is called Lao Kulua. Now Lao means like medicinal things, plant medicines, um, that kind of thing. So my teas, right, would be Lao. Um, if you have like any nutritional foods that you're eating, um, earth, air, fire, water, any of these things, any aspects of um, healing. I, I like to think of it as natural, holistic, or medicinal healing. Maybe that's through community activated medicine. I say for these moons, it more specifically might be like your tobacco. It might be your sage, cedar, or sweet grass. Um, it, it, it could be any of these things. Like I said, your teas or essential oils. Now, Lua, so we're in La'au Ku Lua. So Ku is one of the four major Hawaiian gods. Ku is a god of striving for ex excellence, sacrifice for the greater good, discipline. So when we're in a Ku moon, I always say it's the type of wellness that you, you might want to, um, that may be a little bit more difficult because if we look at wellness like deep breathing or wellness like um, meditating or wellness like taking a nap, those are things that are a little bit easier for us to do. But when we're in a cool moon, um, we want to strive. So that might be like calling the dentist's office when you don't want to because or calling the doctor because you don't want to face it and you know that you should. When we're in the cool moons, that's the type of energy that's supported by these moons. So we're in sort of that la'au ku lua. Lua means the second day of this phase. So yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we will finish up the la'au ku moons. Um, and so, you know, this might be a focus on your nutrition yesterday, today, tomorrow. Um, this might be taking your supplements. This might be working with your essential oils or your plant medicines. Um, it could be... Um, you know, just being a little bit more mindful of those things. Um, it would be a time to, if you do deal with a nutritionist, a doctor, a health practitioner, um, a good time to check in with them as well. Just to, um, you know, just as a way to keep a pulse on your wellness and your health. Um, Terrell says, my goal for today is to drink more water. I drink throughout the day, but mostly coffee and tea. I need to get back to more water. Terrell, that sounds perfect. And in these La'o moons, these medicine moons, uh, you know, water is one of our sacred, um, is, is part of our medicine wheel, medicine wheel. It's one of our sacred gifts. It's the most important thing, right? One of the most important. So Terrell, that sounds great. Um, if I may, Terrell, take it or leave it. But um, if you can, avoid drinking water out of plastic or unfiltered water. Um, lots of research, lots of research shows when we drink water out of plastic, we consume the plastic. So if you can avoid, if not, um, just let it be, don't judge yourself. But if you can also too, with filtered water relatives, it really does help because, um, with the toxicity of today's age and, and, you know, our pipes and all that kind of thing, the water that's kind of the way that the water is treated and things like that, they can have things in there that are that do have an adverse effect on us. So if you can, filtered water, try and avoid um, plastic water bottles if you can. If not, you know what, one day at a time, do the best you can, Terrell. And I think that's fantastic that you're going to focus on drinking more water. Good for you. Okay, relatives, before we go, I looked up some positive affirmations for freedom. And why freedom? Because today we have a personal freedom to vote. We are also free because that is our God-given right as human beings, right? Well, at least I hope, I know we're not all free, but right here, right now, I think every one of us watching, um, we do have the freedom to choose our self-care, our wellness path, and the actions that we take. And that's not to say that we don't have um, obstacles in the way or boulders that we face. But we do have, um, to a great extent, our freedom to choose what it is that serves us. Our freedom to choose how we feel and what we believe in. 
So I found uh, krista-smith.com. I just Googled positive affirmations for personal freedom. And she has a lot of great ones. So I don't know who this person is, but I know that she has 57 positive affirmations on freedom. And I love this one. I'm free to choose my path of joy. I'm free to choose my path of joy. Only you know, relatives, what brings joy to you? What does bring you joy? You are free to choose your path of joy. I am free to choose my path of joy. What brings me joy is Halloween, pumpkins. It was a great weekend, a very quiet weekend, the most quiet I've ever had for Halloween, but it was great. What brings me joy is eating nutritious food, drinking tea, spending time with you, being with my son and laughing and listening to music together. What brings you joy? What is your path of joy? Here's one that I love. I am free to not live up to the expectations of others. I am free to not live up to the expectations of others. I love this one. Do you have one of those people who's criticizing you in your lives and telling you how you should do this or you should do that? Um, by the way, Terrell, my apologies on the water thing. <laughs> Because I feel like I'm one of those people now. Um, if you have one of those people in your lives, you don't have to abide by the expectations of anybody. Um, one of the personal things that I have in my household is my partner is always like, how come it's not more clean in here? And, you know, and event, finally I said to him, like, you know, I'm working nonstop. If you want this house to be in better condition, you're free to make your own choices. Go ahead. Um, sometimes you may have those parents who are, um, you know, telling you how to do better and be better and, you know, whatever people think their agenda is for what is best for you. But I will tell you as an advocate and as a person who's trained to help other people when they need it, there's one thing that we are taught as an advocate that I think is so important. And that is, our agenda is not what's best for other people. Other people know what's best for them. You know what's best for you. I can't tell you what's best for you. I can give some ideas. I can talk about what I'm doing in my life. But you're free not to live up to expectations of others. You truly are the master of this journey. You are the captain. My mom's learned now, you know, when she's trying to give me advice, I'm like, mom. And she's like, oh, okay. Like, I will choose. We are free to choose not to live up to the expectations of others. Terrell says, or, um, oh, oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. So sorry. There's a lot of comments, guys. Sorry. I'm just seeing them now. Julie, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, Terrell says, yes, no plastic or aluminum liquids. That's awesome. Terrell, not trying to preach <laughs> Not trying. <laughs> as I'm telling people, um, to live life their own ways, but that's awesome to hear Terrell. Julie, glad you're here. Glad you voted. Cheryl said she voted absentee this year. I checked to be sure it was accepted. Liking the My Vote website. It's nice being able to check. Oh, that's awesome that they do that. Mariah says, what brings me joy is spending time with my family. Oh, Mariah, that's 
That's beautiful. Um, Terrell says what brings her joy is family, kids, nature, and music. Julie says she's good today, but my heart is heavy. Julie, you want to talk about it? If you want to, you can share with us. You don't have to. But sometimes talking about it can help. So feel free to share, Julie. This is a safe place for you. And we can reflect and, and honor that. And we can be there with you. You can lean into us. Terrell says, I'm free to not live up to the expectations in my head, whether those are too high or limiting. Beautiful, Terrell. Thank you. Julie says, way too much has happened just recently with a loved one. I'm also new here. Julie, thank you very much for sharing. And when we're having moments like this, relatives, we're, you know, we're feeling overwhelmed and the choices or actions of our loved ones are painful and they're hurting us. Our, our CEO and founder, Leah Denny, she's amazing. She's just, ugh, she's an amazing human being. And I go to her sometimes when I'm struggling with that, Julie, and she always says, radical compassion lead with love, but also not to the detriment of who you are and what you need. So Julie, if you're able today, take moments of self-care, radical compassion for yourself. I know that, you know, on our path and journey of self-care and wellness, sometimes other people's actions, they fall as boulders on our path. Sometimes we can just walk around that boulder. Sometimes we can jump over it. But sometimes we aren't ready to get around it or we just can't. And when we're in those moments, it's great that you're here, Julie, to take respite and to reflect on this obstacle. To be kind to yourself and decide what you need for yourself and what you can do in a way that will serve you and your wellness. So I hope you're okay, Julie. Thinking about you, sending you lots of healing thoughts. Yes, yeah, so as Mariah is saying too, the Her Wellness team is here for you. If you need someone to talk to, do call our Cares Warm Line. No judgment, no stigma. You can talk it out. We can provide you with that emotional support. Mariah will post our Cares Warm Line number again here so that you can see it. Kathy says, hi, sorry, I was in a voting line. I will catch up after all this. No worries, Kathy. We're always here for you. No worries. You can come in anytime you want. And so glad to see you here, Kathy. And so glad you got to vote. Kathy, how long did you wait in line? I got to vote today too. Be safe out there, relatives. And remember, bring your chair, bring your medications, bring a snack, bring what you need. Julie, you're welcome. We're here for you, Julie. Tabitha says, also can message her if you want to talk privately. Yes, thank you, Tabitha, for advocating. Exactly. You can always message us. You can text message the Cares Warm Line. You can text message our um, Facebook Messenger inbox. Julie says, thank Tabitha. Mama loves you. Aw. Julie, Tabitha, you guys. Kathy says, yes, yes, she is. Julie says, I need that tea. Julie, fava tea, if you're in Wisconsin, I'm telling you, F-A-V-A dot com. Um, their tea is outstanding. If you guys ever want any, um, like, any help with picking out teas, I'm your lady. I know me some teas, guys. So that's part of my healing gifts is helping people with teas and essential oils. Kathy says... Yes, I love you all. I was there at 6.40 a.m., but the machine broke, but now is working. Thank goodness. Kathy, get it. Yes, relatives. Exercising our freedoms, our voice, our right to choose. Before we go, relatives, one last thing. As the sun comes in blindingly, let me see if I can block it out with my... Oh, 
there we go. I say this every time that we meet because I think it's so important. I saw some research and a presentation on positive and negative self-talk. How much negativity do you think we say to ourselves in a day? A month or even a year? Do you know that us, that we say an average of 12 to 1400 negative things to ourselves every single day? That comes up to about 42,000 negative things a month that we say to ourselves and about a half a million negative things we say to ourselves every year. Relatives, if there is anything that I can encourage, it is positive self-talk. And every time we meet on these videos, my favorite thing to do now is to declare what you love about yourself. It doesn't matter if you think you have beautiful skin or eyes or if your hair is outstanding, if you love your smile, Maybe it's not physical. Maybe it's spiritual. Maybe know, you know that you're innately a, a person who's healing, that people lean into for support because you were born with that gift. You might be that bright light in lots of pe people's lives. Maybe it's mentally. You're intelligent or organized. Maybe you're compassionate. Whatever it is, relatives, do feel free to declare what is amazing about you physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Uh, maybe you got a job promotion. Maybe you're a good animal parent. It doesn't matter what it is because we need to start combating that. Oh, here I get all, pre I'm getting all preachy again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saying this is a reminder of myself too. Let's be kind to ourselves. So yesterday I complimented my smile, my teeth, my eyebrows. Today I want to go a little bit deeper. And feel free to comment, relatives. Do not feel shame. No shame. We will celebrate and honor who you are. Because we say half a million things a year that we need to combat. Or that we don't need to. But I'm always here if you want to toot your horn. We're here for that. All of us can support you in that. Unapologetically. I wanted to say that I am, I have grit. That's one thing I love about myself. I have overcome so much and so have you relatives. And yet here I still am. As uh, Jerry Garcia says, keep trucking, right? And I will continue to truck and I will do it with grace. And I will do it with love and compassion and respect for others. That's what I love about myself. I have grit. Kathy says preach. Kathy, let me know what do you love about yourself. Julie, Terrell, Tabitha, Mariah, anyone out there, what do you love about yourself? Don't be shame. No shame. We're going to honor that. You know what else I love about myself? I raised a good kid. He's 11 years old. This kid... Man, he makes me proud to be a parent. He's a beautiful person. Come here, kid. I want to show off my kid because <laughs> I love this guy. Go ahead and pick your head in here. That's my son, Kai. Come here, one more. We'll hold him for one more second. 11 years old, the light of my life. I love this kid. Love this kid. I'm so proud to be his mom. I love being his mom. I, I just... Thank you, Creator, for allowing me the, the blessing of him. Terrell says, sharing your thoughts is not preachy. It's sharing. I like hearing the opinions of others. It helps me as I figure out mine. Thank you. Thank you, Terrell, for the support. I was feeling a little insecure about that for a moment. <laughs> See? We can lean into each other. Whatever it is that you love about yourselves, relatives, don't be shamed. Don't be shy. There's plenty of times for humility, but when it comes to self-love, we need more of it. Julie says, I relax by beating, listening to my native flute music. Julie, that sounds awesome. Culture is medicine. And how beautiful is that, Julie? Also, Julie, at any time, feel free to share pics. If you ever want us to post 
like what's amazing about you relatives we have one of our relatives who does corn husk dolls her name is colleen we posted hers to honor her and culture as a way of medicine so if you ever have pictures of your artwork or things that you do feel free to inbox us and we will honor you we'll post it for you and do a shout out Kathy says, I love that I try to find good in all situations, even though it's hard sometimes. Aw, he is adorable and lucky to have a mom like you. Thank you, Kathy. You rock, Kathy. Yes, finding good in all situations. It is hard. Can you, can you find a harder year than to find good in all situations than 2020? Yes, Kathy, thank you for sharing. Tabitha says, I love my creative brain. Oh, Tabitha, if you have, like I said, if you have anything to share, artwork or anything like that, let us know. We can always post. Thank you for sharing, Tabitha. Um, Mariah says, I love how big my heart is. Mariah, so glad you're part of the team. Mariah, I know you have to have a big heart because you went into social work. It takes a big heart to go into social work. You are amazing, Mariah. Keep doing you. Julie says, I also burn my sage while doing beating. Julie, you're like a triple cultural heal culture is healing like person. Like that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Love it. Relatives, I want to say mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for joining us today. Malama pono i kokino. Take good, righteous care of your body. Pono means righteous. Malama means care. Kokino is your body. Take good, righteous care of your body, your heart, your mind, your spirit. Aloha nui. Huge love to you all. You guys are all amazing relatives. Don't you forget it. And if you do find yourself slipping on that, go into your deep breathing, do something kind for yourself, practice a moment of self-care, and always come back to these videos. These videos are not me, these videos are us. I just happen to be the one who's got the camera. But you're all a very important part of this, this healing circle of community activated medicine. I am not greater than you, I am not a sage, I am here with you, we're all together. I know from all the relationships I've been able to build with you all. You're all amazing people. Ah, we have our um, we have our founder and our CEO Leah Denny is here. Leah, the creator of Community Activated Medicine, which helps us all so much. She says, release what no longer serves you. Take breaks from the news today, and sit in the beauty of nature if you can with love, Leah. Love you, Leah. Before we go, guys, there's a community survey that's linked to this video. I ask for all of our new viewers, who, for relatives, if you're just here today for the first time, please do click on that survey. It's completely anonymous. Ask just a few questions. But what it does is help us understand how best to serve you, our relatives. That is our passionate. Our passion is to walk alongside you on your path and journey of self-care and wellness. Also, please do take the survey because this is how Leah has always envisioned that we will never charge you a penny for our services. We will never ask for an insurance card. We don't care to see one. We don't, it doesn't matter if you have one or not. All you need to begin your healing with the Her Wellness Institute is the desire to walk forward. Maybe even just sit and reflect on your path and journey of self-care and wellness. Leah sending us all love, all love to back, back to all of you. Ahui ho akuno, we'll see you later, see you tomorrow at 8am, and aloha.